Get Heart Smart with University of Maryland Baltimore Washington Medical Center. So if you want to think of your heart as even something as simple as your house, you have an electrical parts of your house components, you have plumbing parts of your components of your home. Um, the stenting side is more like the plumbing side of your heart. They're your pipes that run all through your heart, basically. Pretty much if one's backed up or clogged up, you're not getting good blood flow, what do you want to do? You want to open the blockage. Same thing if you were at a, had a blocked line in your house going to a faucet or anything else. Same concept. A stent is a small, it's like a small mesh-like tube we put inside your heart and your coronary artery. Um, it helps hold open a blockage and uh, increase blood flow to your heart. When it comes to the electrical side, that's where you get involved with pacemakers and defibrillators and things like that. Your heart also has an electrical rhythm and if that rhythm is thrown off, you could possibly need a defibrillator or a pacemaker that can help regulate the heart rhythm. Pacemakers uh, and defibrillators are devices that are implanted under the skin, but they're not bulky. They're very, very small. Um, these leads run down into your heart. They help um, regulate your heart rhythm. Or if you're in an abnormal rhythm, a defibrillator can help, hate to say the word, shock you out of that rhythm, but that's exactly what it would do. If you were in an abnormal, deadly heart rhythm, it will have to break that and shock you out of it. That's the two main components. It's the electrical side of the heart, and then you have the I'd say the plumbing side of your heart.